snatched. That's what she said. Halter tops, high waisted leggings. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video it's all about boobies, again as I promised. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about being comfortable with yourself even though you are flat chested. You don't have to have big boobs to feel confident and to feel beautiful. So if you're looking to feel a little more confident and you don't know how to, this is the right video for you. If you didn't know, my name is Diana. I make two videos a week. I post booby videos on Wednesday and I post blogs and days in my life on Sundays. So, if you want to join the family, welcome, subscribe, like if you like the video, and let's dive in. First thing is dress with confidence. That's what she said. <laughs> oh I know, hear me out, I know you're gonna say, but if I don't have confidence, how am I gonna dress with confidence? Like I'm here to gain confidence, I know. You gotta internalize that you are beautiful the way you are. There are billions of people in this world, and if you think about it, not everyone is gonna find you attractive, if that's what you want to. You are not perfect and you are not God, you know? So you gotta know that you're not gonna be beautiful to every single person in this world, because people like different things different culture different places and so that will help you just to internalize that you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be beautiful for everyone also have to think about if you came to the world that way it's because that was the way you were supposed to come and you are adding something to the world you are unique and that is your superpower think about those things and when you put clothes on try to feel comfortable something that you really like and then put that confidence on there say it say it in the mirror i love myself you know pump yourself say it to yourself i am beautiful because if you don't say it to yourself no one else will i am not perfect and that is okay all right now to go to a more technical point to help you on what to wear for you to look better if you have very small chest or if you're flat chested so one of the things i find that are very important is that the tops you wear try to find them with some embellishment or nice prints or a nice you know something that gives the top a little pop so that can draw people's eyes away from the fact that you don't have any chest for example i really like tops that have little pearls i like the contrast of like a camel top with like pearls all over it and then a very toned down like black leggings and stuff just to make the top pop and that will distract people from looking at your breasts and like oh that's a really nice top Another good tip is to vary the neckline. For example, one day you could do just like this, very loose turtleneck. One day you could do a very sleek turtleneck. Other day you could do a round or a V. You have many options. And an extra pop to that is sometimes I've seen that some tops, the neck has embellishment on it. Not the whole top, just the neck. So that also draws attention away from the breast up to the neck and your face. I, I do that sometimes too. Another one, but you don't have to do this one because not everyone can show their arms or parts of their body, you know? But another good idea is to show your arms or part of your arms so you draw attention away from your chest and then you put it on another part of your body. For example, I really like halter tops. They're high, but then I'm showing my arms and you can put jewelry on, you can put a nice necklace and that will draw attention to those little details. It won't erase that you're flat chested. Story of my life, but at least will distract the eye and your own eye when you look at yourself in the mirror. The first thing you look, it's like those things that pop. So that will help you to like distract yourself and other people from looking to your flat chest. Another one that it's actually not on the top but the bottom is that when you use high-waisted leggings, jeans, high-waisted anything, I think that's a genius idea to distract the eye from like going up here because high-waisted bottoms, they usually make your figure look very like snatched. So people will be drawn to your bottom part like, oh wow, those are very nice legs or something like that, I don't know if that's what you want. Use skirts like pencil skirts, high-waisted too, that will draw attention to the bottom part of your body and not your upper part. 
Also, showing off your legs, it's a good idea as well, if you are able to do that. I think I have nice legs. I don't know about you, but I love my legs. So before I didn't used to wear like shorts, I would never. And now I can't wait to the summer so I can put leggings and I can put shorts, like biker shorts. So I usually wear a very baggy t-shirt and then I would put a biker short on and some nice sneakers and looks very nice people won't be looking up here and then they won't even realize that you're flat chested because you're wearing something very loose on top talking about that let me go to the next point loose and baggy shirts hoodies or whatever on the top not a lot of people like this because they feel like they're so skinny and then they put something so loose they look like a stick wrapped in like a towel <laughs> You know, something like that. But it depends on what you wear. If you find a nice t-shirt that is not too oversized, just one size or two sizes bigger than your usual size, that will be great. And then make sure you put something tight on the bottom so you don't look like a cylinder. <laughs> play with shapes but if you want to wear a loose top and a loose bottom you can do that too don't worry about it i also do that sometimes but if you're aiming to distract the eye take it away from the top to the bottom or somewhere else you gotta play with like shapes and sizes like what can you change on the top or on the bottom that will be different and contrast and so people will be like and then my last point is do not overstuff your bra you don't even need a bra and i'm not saying it in a bad way okay because sometimes you say yeah, yeah, bad. and then you're like oh yeah i know no i'm not saying it in a bad way like i'm a flat chested girl like from flat chested to flat chested but if you want to wear a bra you can do so go ahead but don't put socks in them don't put tape in them don't put a shirt that you found underneath your bed in them like there is no point and it looks terrible okay don't buy brass that are like three times your size because it shows it shows when they're not your size it looks terrible so don't do that going back to the confidence internalize that you don't need big boobs okay you don't need them you're beautiful the way you are so why would you want to overstuff your bra it's hot it's uncomfortable it's nerve-wracking because you think something's gonna fall out of there i've been there if you don't wear a bra, that's the most comfortable feeling. I'm not wearing a bra right now. Look, I don't need it. You know what I mean? It's like so comfortable and you, uh, you feel so free. But you have to internalize that you don't need it. Because for the longest time, I wore bras. I wore bigger bras, smaller bras. I stuffed my bras. I put silicone pads inside my bra. I did so many tricks. Nothing worked like nothing will make me happy and comfortable. I only felt happier when I accepted that there's no point in doing all of those extra things. This is my chest size and I have to be happy with it. And if I'm not happy with it, that's fine. But don't overdo things. Who are you trying to impress? If you're trying to impress that boy and that boy doesn't like you because you don't have big boobs, then that's not the right boy. Say bye to him. So once I understood and accepted accepted that, I felt free. Free and happy. It's like, oh yes, I don't need it. I hope I helped you. Like I do these videos for you to take something away from it. I hope you loved it. Feel more confident next time. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are coming back. Most of you like my movie videos. So I'm doing those for you, but I'm doing the vlogs for me because I like the vlogs that was it for today's video i hope you liked it thank you for watching thank you for coming back i will see you on sunday with a vlog and then on wednesday with another boofy video or thursday it depends okay that's it subscribe like and see you next week bye